Hello everybody, back again, Saul here, for another Minecraft snapshot video. Today we're in 14w11b, and we'll just jump right into it. Mojang has made uh, the physics for minecarts a little different. So we see here, uh, we send this flying here. It only makes it to there and then it stops. It loses momentum. Well, it just kind of inches along. But anyway. If we ride it, uh, I don't know if we'll get much of a further boost. We might. Yeah. Alright. So we do. So they've also increased, you might have seen there, they increased the max speed for minecarts. Um, from what I've seen, the max speed seems to be about 25 meters per second, so 25 blocks per second. The max speed you can get in a minecart now. Before it used to be about 8. So... Uh, about three times faster now, um, a little more. Uh, now, if you're going too fast and you come up to a turn, there's a chance yep, that you can derail here. <laughs> you can now derail off of things. If the minecart's empty, however, it'll go longer before derailing. There we go. And as you saw there, it completely cuts corners and jumps straight from this rail to this rail funny. So let's take a look at that again. Oh, derailed over there. Alright. So minecart physics, yay. Uh, you see this weird contraption here? It was, uh... Cause... Now, the minecart will go back up and not be able to clear this little jump here. Uh, I was also experimenting here with a longer one, and the same thing happens. So if we try to catch it, with us in it, we're actually able to, uh, we're able to clear the little, the little dip there. But without enough momentum with the minecart by itself, it kind of just goes up here and then it flies all the way back up. Here we have a furnace minecart, because the change log for the snapshot says they've improved furnace minecarts, um, or that they've made them better, or something to that effect. But Really, what they've made them do is now they give they give a sudden push. So let's get some coal here. Uh, so we have a minecart here, and we power the minecart furnace. It is a huge push all of a sudden that derails things if they're around corners. Um, so before, you know, they just used to do, do a slow, steady pace, it, whether they were going up inclines or down inclines or whatever. They would keep a slow, steady pace. Now they have a sudden burst. Hey, you went the wrong way. <laughs> now they have a sudden burst like that, and then they slow down quite a bit. So, <laughs> yay. Uh, this this here, I was just experimenting with a longer drop. Uh, this is uh, for the F3 screen. If you look on the right there, it says block. Now it actually shows you what block you're looking at in the F3 screen, so it's the fence gate. The door here will actually give you more info on it, so it's facing north, and open false, so when you open it, open is true, the hinge is on the left, powered false, so if we, let's get one of these, so we power it, now it's powered true, and then half lower or upper, whichever half you're looking at. The fence gate doesn't give us info really, not all blocks yet give us info, I'm sure they'll be implemented in the future. Uh, redstone lamps and stuff don't give us much info yet. Redstone uh, wire, as it says on the right there, or the redstone dust. Um, it's actually pretty cool. It actually tells you the power of the redstone that's there. So it's block Minecraft redstone wire 15. The 15 is the power. Then it goes 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. You know, your regular um, redstone power. And it tells you which, uh, which ways the the redstone's pointing, so this one's a little cross there, so it has uh, north, up, west, at the, at the bottom there it says north, up, south, to the side, so it's pointing out to the side there. Uh, west and east, it's pointing out there to the sides too, so this one's just pointing north and south, north and south, east and south, uh, north and west, and this one's just pointing south. 
because it's not connected to anything over here, so it doesn't recognize that as connected to the north. Uh, you notice an enter, an end portal here. So for the next bit, we are gonna have to jump into the end. So meet you there. All right, so here we are in the end, and I brought a bow with me because of a new addition here. As you can probably see in my hot bar there, I have an egg. Those things right there. Those are called endermites, and uh, endermen hate them for whatever reason. So those little guys will spawn uh, whenever an enderman takes damage or when it teleports, there's a random chance that an endermite will spawn. But, and the, the, the enderman will chase them. So if we could put one here. The endermen come from all around and will chase them. I'm not sure what the lore behind this will be. I'm sure the community will come up with something. <laughs> um, the Endermen also walk a little faster now, if you notice there. Yeah, they walk a little fast. So now, because of this, people are, are up in arms that Mojang wants to break Enderman farms and whatever, but that is absolutely not the case. Dinnerbone has said that's not the case. And uh, it's funny because Endermen will actually uh, track these little guys here and uh, push each other off ledges. So that actually kind of improves Endermen farms. Because old Endermen farms, you know, use pistons to push Endermen off of spawning pads. And now you, you have the Endermen pushing themselves off, which is great. Hey guys, come join the party. Follow this one. Oh man. That is terrifying, look at all these Endermen. Oh. So, yeah, these guys are great for Enderman farms, however, there is a downfall to them. Whether they are named or not named, because, you know, uh, name tags stop, stop stuff from despawning. Um, these guys all come with their own 15 minute uh, despawn timer. So whether they're named or not, after 15 minutes they will just despawn. So yeah, you can make an awesome uh, automatic enderman farm, however you're going to have to be putting new endermites in there every 15 minutes. So so you got to take the good with the bad there. But uh, I believe that is all for the 4TW11 snapshot. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!